Hi, this is just a quick real-life example of some of the problems that can result from data quality issues. It's a true story. This is Valparaiso, Indiana, and the Red Cross, the Red Square, is 1108 Chicago Street, the home of a Mr. Dennis Charnetsky. Now, he says his home is uh, badly made and drafty. It's, round, it's worth around $121,000. Early in 2005, however, somebody, they don't know who, went into the county systems and accidentally changed the assessment value of his home to $400 million. Later in the year, a somewhat surprised Mr. Charnetsky received a property tax bill of a little over $8 million. He called, he asked if he could pay in installments, they laughed, corrected the figure and sent him a new bill for around $1,500. So far, so good. Unfortunately, in the meantime, that $400 million figure had been used by all of the different cities in the county. In particular, it was used to determine the budget. The result was, at the end of the year, because Mr. Charnetsky hadn't paid his $8 million, they were left with a huge hole in the budget and had to implement emergency cost cuts. In particular, the school district had to return $2.7 million, which resulted in the elimination of all optional activities including school trips, sports, new books for the libraries, everything. This resulted in some very grumpy children, some very grumpy parents, a general scandal, and resignation of the people responsible. There are two morals to this story. The first is that a single bad value can very easily get into different information systems. The second is that data quality can have real human consequences. So please, for the sake of the children, think about data quality in your next project.